Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Bright, and my hands is Fist of the North Star, Volume 4. Uh, another just awesome, awesome volume of the series. And for the person who uh, commented that uh, fourth volume is when things start to shift, you're, you're right. It's kind of breaking the mold as to what we've seen for the first three. Uh, the stories by Borenson, art by Tetsuohara, translation Joe Yamazaki, touch-up and lettering by John Hunt. All right, so up to this point, we've had Ken... Uh, basically taking on various gangs. Uh, it's it's very much has been a kung fu uh, Mad Max. Um, Ken is the wielder of the legendary Hokuru Shinken. Um, and this one really starts kind of more diving into the history of uh, Hokuru Shinken and how Ken became kind of like the chosen one, uh, the, the wielder of this. Uh, the volume opens up with Ken taking on Yagi. Uh, Yagi is, um, he's been causing problem in Ken's name, kind of, you know, rocking a similar look, but wearing uh, a mask, you can see kind of by the cover here. Uh, and we learn about Yagi and the connection, and it turns out Yagi is Ken's brother. There's been, I think, four total brothers, Yagi being the first one, and then we learn about the second one as Ken starts going on this kind of new direction and mission is to go uh, find his missing brothers and uh, either like reconnect with them if they're still good or defeat them if they are evil. Uh, and through this, we're learning the history about uh, this martial art technique and how Ken became the successor to it and its various uh, techniques to it and some of the more details surrounding it. It's definitely a shift in storyline. Um, you know, as I said, the first three volumes were very much just Ken versus random uh, gang. Now it's there's there's more of a dramatic storyline. There's more of a soap opera thing going on since it involves his brothers. And it's still solid. You know, it still has that great look. Uh, the action solid. The fight's entertaining. Um, there's something really funny about these quick martial arts fights, and it's like I've just done technique of blah blah blah. Your you know arm can't move, or you know you might want to do this, and then you can get regain of your muscle. I mean, there's there's something really entertaining about all that. I think it'd be amazing if someone went through and and made sure the series was consistent in that. I'm sure they are. Uh, but I'm loving it. I mean, like, if you if you enjoyed the first three volumes, it's kind of hard not to enjoy the third or the fourth one. Um, it's just it's more of the same in a good way, uh, and and takes the storyline in a little bit of a different direction, and that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Um, art continues to always be fantastic. I mean, just open up to to him powering out. Um, you know, the the actions is is solid. Um, the fight scenes are entertaining. Um, Go with some. Eh. Not really a boring opening, but we have a nice reveal, some cool stances. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to reveal too much. I think we already showed that one. Yeah. Just good fights, good action overall. I mean it's just it's solid. It's solid, solid, solid stuff. Um, you know, it's if you've been enjoying it, like it continues to be great. Um, and, you know, I've been enjoying this, like, in that I never have read Fist of the North Star, so to be able to go and read it now and do so in a really, like, well, like, a nice presentation is great. I mean, this is, it's a hardback uh, graphic novel manga uh, for 1999 and, and covers, you know, a decent amount, it seems like. You know, I, I don't know how it was originally released, but this feels like a good read. Uh, and just a really nice presentation. The covers are awesome. There's a little bit of, of color uh, inside. Uh, I think that's the one comment I've made in a couple of the videos. Like, I would love to see this series done in the coloring that it does for, like, a chapter here and there. Um, but, yeah, overall, it's just, it continues the awesomeness. It really continues the awesome. If you love kung fu martial arts action, you like kind of an apocalyptic Mad Max setting, it's, you know, what's not to love with this? Out in comic shops now, you can go get it. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that. You all support our site, so thank you. Just watching your video support us, so thank you for that. If you are into manga, if you're into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all that graphic policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Until next time.
keep reading that manga and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.